Hey, this is Sammy watching Stiff TV, and today we're going to talk about our very own steel hardtail, the Morph. So, uh, it's just introduced a bit of the backstory to it really on this first video. So, Stiff started in 1984. We started doing windsurfing equipment, boards, sails, and very shortly afterwards, we started selling mountain bikes, you know, something to use when the wind's flat. And then, to be honest, that just went crazy, and we've been doing that ever since. So that's been 30 years and uh, it's kind of taken us quite a long time to get around to this, but we thought we'd put everything that we know about selling high-end mountain bike and build our own frame with it. Okay, so we weren't satisfied with a lot of the hardtails that are out on the market. Most of us here ride like a 130 to 150 mil travel trail bike and you jumped on a hardtail and you always felt like you were having to hang off the back of the bike and it was almost like having to relearn how you rode a mountain bike. So we wanted to make something which really was like easy to jump on between you know, like you know your trail or enduro bike and then you just wanted to have like an hour or two on a hardtail and just go for a bit of a blast and have a bit of a laugh on it and not feel like you're having to relearn how to ride the bike again so there's quite a bit of work that we've put into the bike to make it do that okay so nowadays when you're riding a modern trail bike how you ride the bike's kind of changed over the last few years. So you're much more forward over the front of the bike. You really want to be pushing so you've got the weight right on the grip point of the front tire. You don't want to be hanging over the back of the bike. And we wanted to make the morph so that you could jump from your modern trail bike onto a hardtail and still be able to ride the bike like that. And one of the main things that we wanted to do is make sure that because you've only got suspension at the front of the bike and there isn't any rear travel on the hardtail, obviously, we don't want to be diving all the way through the travel all the time. And that's something that we found was a real trouble with a lot of the bikes out there at the time. Um, so what we've done is we've actually, we've gone to quite a short travel fork for such what we think is quite a hardcore, like, you know, it's a very capable bike. So we've actually gone with a 130 mil travel fork but we've paired that with a 65 degree head angle. And what that does, or when you're loading the front of the bike, because you're not wallowing through loads and loads of travel, it holds the bike's shape and the geometry of the bike stays similar as you're riding through steep terrain. And that makes it incredibly capable. So what we've done, we, com we combine that slack head angle with a short fork that's not constantly changing where the bars are to give you a longer, a longer reach in, in the bike for extra stability. And then what we've done is we've gone quite a dramatically low bottom bracket height and a short, a very, very short chainstay. And there's some quite special little tricks that we've done down here to be able to get such a short chainstay and a really low BB. So the BB's actually got a 42 millimeters drop, which is pretty damn short. And you've got a really, really short back end. So it's 420 mil. Now, that means that you're sat right into the bike. You don't feel like you're on top of it and you can really push and ride the bike through your feet, really feel it through the pedals. Um, we combine that seat tube angle of 73.5 degrees, which when you compare that to like an enduro bike, maybe doesn't feel quite as steep as to say like a 74.5. But remember, when you're loading the bike and your fork sits into its travel a little bit, that steepens it up just around that kind of 74.5, 75 degree seat angle. The bike climbs really, really well. Okay, so you've seen the video of Matt riding the morph. He's able to ride some really quite steep technical terrain. Matt actually won the sport class of the Hard Rock Enduro and he got a couple of podiums at the, uh, the Welsh Red Kite Enduro series while we were still prototyping the bike. You know, you're able on a 130mm travel fork to really push that front end, ride some steep technical terrain without feeling like you have to hang over the back of the bike or without feeling like you're going to go over the bars all the time. So the geometry works really, really well. Um, we're going to explore a few little other details that we've kind of skimmed over in this video. So keep watching over the next few days. We're going to talk about some of the, the more nice little techie features on there. Cheers for watching. Thank you.